Growers have available to them many different strawberry cultivars, but when we're growing strawberries in greenhouses and other protected environments, it really is a local issue. Growers have to think about the systems they're using as well as their own unique climatic conditions, their own weather conditions that they're going to experience, those growing conditions. So really growers have to experiment with cultivars under their conditions to determine what works best. But Mark, if you would share with us a little bit your experience out here in Arizona and your unique conditions and the systems you're using here, what's worked for you, what hasn't worked, any of your thoughts and experiences with different cultivars? Well, during the entire time we've been growing strawberries, trying to learn this whole process, we've always used at least one type, and that's been Albion. Albion was the field standard in California for a long time. It's been replaced by Portola and San Andreas and some of these other kinds. Um, Albion's been kind of a workhorse for us, and it, it has several benefits. Uh, the first I can think of that we experienced here in Arizona was tip burn. Um, Albion was fairly resistant to the tip burn that we experienced in our really dry climate. Um, it also has pretty good fruit quality uh, in, in this hydroponic setting. Um, we get pretty good bricks numbers and we get pretty good fruit quality otherwise. Um, so it's been kept on as a standard, our standard uh, while we check a few other types that we've brought in from time to time. Currently, we are growing Albion and Portola. Portola okay. is the new field standard for California. It's sold out of every nursery pretty fast. It's in such high demand. Um, in our hydroponic system, it, it doesn't work as well as in, in the field, though. Our, it's really hard to maintain the fruit quality because it's such a powerful growing plant um, that it, I think that root system is just constantly pumping nutrients and water into the plant that keeps it so vigorous and makes those fantastic yields that it gets, but it also fills the fruit with a little too much water. Okay. So we just can't keep it as sweet as we'd like it to be. So you find you have a trouble with the BRICS levels on Portola? In the BRICS in levels this in this system. Right, yeah. under these conditions. We've also in the past, we looked at a, a short day type, which is called Camino Real. Yielded very well, but it, it had um, pretty good uh, a pretty strong sensitivity to, to the dry conditions, and so we had a lot of tip burn on that. And now you, you've mentioned tip burn a couple of times on cultivars. Explain a little bit with tip burn what's going on when that occurs on these cultivars. It's a calcium issue? Yeah, tip burn is a, is a calcium deficiency, and it's, and it's caused because there's so much transpiration going on from the leaves that the calcium doesn't have a chance to get to that meristematic zone and so the, the, the newly formed leaves have some marginal necrosis that develops at a very early stage. That's not so much the big problem is that the calyx also develops tip burn and that, that's a marketability problem. You could have a beautiful perfect fruit but with a brown calyx someone could go, oh, I don't want that fruit. Yeah, then it's, the marketability is, is down. Is, is yeah. down. So again Camino Real was uh, a high yielding fruit. It had pretty good fruit quality with that tip burn issue for us here in Arizona. Again you're talking about locality. Um, was an issue. Uh, we looked at San Andreas last year because we were trying to add these new high yielding types um, and we just couldn't get Portola because it was sold out but we got San Andreas and, and this, uh, they're very similar so their performance is pretty much the same. Again very high yielding but the fruit quality we just couldn't get it high enough in, in the hydroponic system that we're growing. So in your, with the different cultivars you've tried here today and I know I'm sort of putting you on the spot but your systems, your cultural conditions here in Tucson what do you think has been sort of your best overall cultivar? Well, of the ever-bearing types, and that's San Andreas, Portola, and Albion are all ever-bearing ever types. Um, Albion's been consistently the best, the, the easiest to manage in these conditions, the least susceptible to tip burn, which we manage for anyway. Um, having the best fruit quality, the yield is not up to Portola or San Andreas, but it's good enough. And as we learn more about how to, to manage plants, we know we can get that yield up a little bit more. So of the ones that are available here in the U.S., that's what we've been using. Is Albion. As Albion. So as you're starting to think about actually growing strawberries in protected culture or in hydroponic or soilless greenhouse systems, you'll really want to make sure that you select a number of cultivars and you trial those things in your system and in your own climate.